Hello everyone, Wylock here. Thanks for joining me. Today we continue our studies in chaos-themed scatter terrain. We're gonna make an Eldridge portal with these teeth-looking things. Fits in a Cthulhu campaign, Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer 40k, a lot of uses. So let's go to the table and start building. Infinite thanks to my Patreon patrons, and remember that our sponsor is Heroes Horde for you 3D printers out there. Excellent selection, including all True Tiles lines. I'm going to start this on double corrugated cardboard, although single corrugated or even foam board would be fine. Just cut out a rough oval shape, and then to hide that subtle ridge texture, I traced this onto some food box cardstock and glued that on. Nice smooth surface now. Then I mixed up some sculpt -a mold You could also use air dry clay or drywall mud or whatever your modeling paste of choice is, doesn't matter. Just cover up the edges and kind of build a rounded slope for the whole perimeter. So while that's curing, plastic forks. I chopped off the tines and then stuck them in some cardboard to go out to the garage for some primer. Two thin coats applied from 12 inches away and let it cure overnight. That done, I took this necrotic flesh color and airbrushed them up, and then with white in the airbrush, sort of frosted the tips, give a nice gradient. Back to the base, solid black on that smooth area, just cheap acrylic craft paint for economics. And then with some white paint on a toothbrush, I flicked a star field into existence. Then magenta into the airbrush. Vallejo paints airbrush quite nicely. Just some blobs and tendrils like a nebula. Followed up by pink, again, random blobs and tendrils, some overlapping with the magenta and some not. And finally, another flick of white for more stars in the foreground. Instant Nebula. By the way, if you find my videos helpful, feel free to like, subscribe, reminder bell, blah blah blah. So for the teeth, I chopped them to various lengths and hot glued them around the perimeter at various angles for a chaotic look. Then a little more sculpt mold over the top, just barely enough to bury the base of the teeth. And I want this to match the ground of the Hell Sphere I did recently in episode 139, since this will also be part of my Chaos Scatter Terrain collection. So first, a solid white coat of white PVA glue, and a light sprinkling of construction sand. Not full coverage, something like half. A few hours later, with that totally dry, base coated with burnt umber, and this is back to cheap acrylic craft paints, Plaid makes several great brands, including Apple Barrel. After that, a heavy wash with black. This is like one part paint to 10 parts water. And just slather it all over there. And finish it off with a dry brush of tan. And light gray. So here it is in context with a couple of chaos models. These are actually from a recent eBay lot that I stripped and have been repainting, getting ready for some battle reports. Notice that I did kind of strangely paint pieces along the way, and that's just because getting underneath the teeth was gonna be difficult, so I wanted to get that airbrushing done beforehand. I think I might make a few of these, call them dangerous terrain, and you'll be able to see this piece in action pretty soon in a new battle report on my other YouTube channel, Wylock Plays. Nebula trick never gets old. I gotta thank Commissar Gamza on YouTube for that. And again, if you don't want to use sculpt mold air dry clay would work, drywall mud, whatever you use to normally fill out your terrain. Again, great brands to use here. Sherbonder for my glue gun, Plaid, and Vallejo Paints. Anyways, fun little project. If you have other ideas for chaos-based terrain, please leave a comment below with a suggestion. If you like this particular project, here's two more you might want to check out. Also, enjoy this community showcase. I'm Wylock, thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time.